Hi everyone, this is the first vid for the differentiation free pack. Uh, I think the pack's on five minutes, so you can have a lot of vids really, so sorry about that. There's about three, four lessons in this one. Right, so it talks about, first of all, it talks about increasing and decreasing functions. But we're aiming towards something called convex and concave. So we know if something's increasing, the gradient is greater than zero there. And if it's decreasing, we know it's less than zero. And we know it's stationary when it is zero. So I'm going to look at them three bits on these curves. So if you look at curve A, it's got a positive gradient. Now if I draw three tangents on it, one at the bottom, one in the middle, one in the top, you can see that the value of the gradient is increasing. So it says here the curve is curve A is increasing and the gradient is increasing, so it's got a positive gradient, and the value of the gradient is getting bigger, then it's convex. Okay? Let's have a look at this one, curve B now. So it's got positive gradient still, but if you look, if I do my three tangents, the value of the gradient is going down. So I've got my positive gradient, so it says curve B is increasing. Yeah, it's got a positive gradient. But the gradient, the value of the gradient is decreasing. So it's positive, but it's decreasing. And that's concave. So that's called concave. Let's have a look at, uh, at C. C, if you look, it's got a negative gradient. So it's decreasing. But the value, so it says here, the gradient's increasing. Now, if you look at the value of the gradient, the value of the gradient is kind of getting smaller negatively. It's moving from left to right along the number scale. So the value of its gradient is increasing. People kind of don't like that idea that, you know, like some people say that minus 10 is bigger than minus, sorry, minus 100 is bigger than minus 10. But for in this case, what I'm saying is that, say, minus 10 is bigger than minus 100 because it's moving more on the right-hand side of your number line. So that kind of messes with people's heads a little bit. So D is negative, so it's decreasing. It's got a negative gradient. And if you look at the value of the gradient, uh, it's also... It's, well, the value is decreasing because it's getting bigger negative... Uh, so it's kind of like going this way, it's becoming like a smaller negative. So it's moving more to the right on the number scale, whereas here, moving along there, the gradient is getting a bigger negative. So it's going more to the right on the number scale. So that's why it's decreasing. So we've got different things there. Now what's quite nice is we put them together. So we put A and C together, kind of have a curve, which looks like that. If I put B and D together, I have a curve that looks like that, which is what you're happy with dealing with in the past. So that's like C, A, B, D. And in the middle, you'd have like stationary points. <clears throat> so let's have a look down here then. So it says convex curves are U-shaped. So if you look, I did there for convex. C and A were convex. Whereas this one is concave. So I say that looks like the entrance to a cave. Uh, so a straight line joining any two points lies above the curve between those two points. Convex curves have an increasing gradient. Oh God, I'm going to run out of time already. I'm on 4.49, 4.50. Right, we'll stop it there and I'll start another one.